Hello and welcome back for another Gala Games prize prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the Gala Games chart and also give you my two possible scenarios that could play out here on the Gala Games chart. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, Gala Games has continued to hold below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up. We are also holding above a key area of support at around the $0.027 mark which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also continued to obey the ADHF structures and that is what is going to give me my two most likely possible scenarios that can play out here on the Gala Games chart. And the first possible scenario is that after seeing our December lows down here, we saw a five wave move to the upside in a move that gave us a high at around the $0.063 mark and also completed the formation of these larger AD12 count one. Then we started a corrective structure in the formation of these larger AD12 count two where we have been seeing a breakdown of being this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us a low at around the $0.027 mark. And that move also managed to get into the minimum retestment area for that second wave highlighted on the chart using this blue target area that I was able to come up with by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one. And that target area lies between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78, which is an area that lies between the $0.03959 mark and the $0.02598 mark. And having fully maximized that target area, there are high chances that we have now bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 and Gala Games is now ready for a massive pump in the formation of this wave 3. And if that is the case and assuming that Gala Games is not going to give us one more leg down in the formation of that wave 2, then using the trend based Fibonacci, connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, that gives me a minimum target area for that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.10424 mark and that is the minimum that I'll be expecting Gala Games to do in the formation of that with 3 to the upper side and that is the first possible scenario that I'm expecting here on the Gala Games chart and the other possible scenario is suggesting a little bit of a bearish move here on the Gala Games chart before we can start our impulsive move in the formation of these larger AD12 count 3. And that our move is suggesting that we are still in a corrective structure in the formation of these wave 2, where we are still seeing a bit of a breakdown in the formation of these wave C. And because of the impulsive nature in the formation of these wave C, we are also seeing a 5 wave structure in formation where I'm terming these as the wave 1, then we saw that as the wave 2, then a wave 3, then a wave 4, and we are yet to see one more leg down in the formation of this wave 5 to fully maximize our blue target area by giving us a low at around the $0.02574 mark. That is the second scenario that we can expect here on the Gala Games chart. And for that to play out, then I'll be expecting to see further breakdown here on the Gala Games chart and maybe at some point we lose our key area of support at around the $0.027 mark before we can fully maximize that target area. Then from that point we can start tracking a 5 wave move to the upside to fully confirm for us that the low for that second wave is in. And those are the two possible scenarios that I'm expecting here on the Gala Games charts and we need to be a little bit patient to get a confirmation on which of those two additive structures is playing out. And once we have a confirmation for that, then we can be able to ride 
our massive move to the upside in the formation of that higher ethereum wave count three and we also need to continue holding within this blue target area because if by any chance we break out of this blue target area to the lower side then that will be suggesting an even more bearish scenario here on the gala games chart so let's be patient and see how that plays out and also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 53 mark also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting further breakdown. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.